As an entertainer, I've had the opportunity to see a great deal of this country and meet a lot of people along the way. One common theme I've come across are the hardships people face when job opportunities are scarce or perhaps just out of reach. Wanting to work, support a family, and make meaningful contributions to the community are all noble and desirable aspirations. I'm thrilled to be able to share a few stories of those who have found and received support from their community and been able to achieve success in finding employment. For one individual, all it took was an announcement on the school's PA system to lead him on a path to not only a successful career in the trades, but to owning his own business. Uh, my name's Justin Rich. Uh, we are at Aurelia Tool and CNC, which I've owned for, it's going to be three years in June. I was in grade 10 at Twin Lakes Secondary School in Aurelia here. I was in gym class and I just happened to hear an announcement that asked if anyone was interested in a trade to come to the guidance room. I was the only one that showed up. Justin Rich uh, was in a program where students were in invited to apply. Uh, to a, a committee of manufacturers and start the program. It was a little bit of an accelerator program where they got to actually do some of their in-school portion of their training while they're still in high school. I went to Georgian College for all of my grade 11 school year down in Barrie and uh, I did chemistry and math and machine shop theory and machine shop and and then uh, looked for my first placement and I knocked on uh, Aurelia Tool's door and the owner was Joe Wilkie and he just happened to be looking for uh, a young guy at the time, so I was only 17 at the time. Justin started, uh, I think he was in grade 10, if I remember correctly, oh, yeah, uh, just in high school still. He was uh, really eager, uh, young and eager, and uh, seemed to be really wanting to learn as much as he could. Maybe no one else was paying attention. I happen to be the only one at Twin Lakes. I do recall him being a student here, I unfortunately didn't teach him, uh, but I do recall that apparently he was the very first student to be signed in the OYAP program here at Twin Lakes. And uh, so that's why he's, he's an important uh, piece to the story. When I went down to Georgian College, we had to do this whole interview process. It was actually quite uh, involved and there were 70, I believe 75 or 76 students in Simcoe County that were trying to fight for position because they were only accepting 25. So I was one of the lucky 25 that got accepted to, to be part of the program. Like all OYAP programs, Justin had to demonstrate that he had the, the interest, the attitude, uh, and the aptitude to be successful in the trade. And, and by doing that, he was able to uh, uh, get started and was, was a licensed uh, tool and die maker by the time he was around 20, 21, 22 years old. I've always been able to work with my hands. I worked on my own cars. I, I, I bought a car before I was of age to even drive and souped it up. And my stepdad, like I said, being a machinist uh, down in Brampton for years and now up in Aurelia as well. I was just interested in it. He, he'd bring parts home or tools home and, and show me and, and it caught my attention. I don't know what I'd be doing because they, I may be in the same field, but I don't think I would have started so young. So the Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program is an initiative by the Ministry of Training, Colleges and Universities, and its main goal is to promote apprenticeship and skill trades to youth. And we do that through a variety of different activities from parent nights to uh, classroom presentations to events where students get to uh, come in and experience the trades through a, a trade show. Uh, we have other hands-on activities like the cardboard boat races where students actually have to solve a problem and work. Welcome everyone to our grade 8 cardboard boat challenge. Today we got 35 elementary school grade 8 students and uh, they have two hours to build a boat out of uh, two 4 by 8 sheets of cardboard, contact cement, duct tape and some string and a paper clip. We're, ho we're hoping that they, uh, we have some real good, uh, real good boats that do well in the pool on the second half of the day where they have to race and there's also a weight component. So in Simcoe and Muskoka, uh, OEAP is responsible for one in five uh, apprenticeship registrations, so around 20%, which we're really quite proud of. 
And the reason that's so awesome is that students are able to start while they're still in high school, still living at home. So every year around 150 students from our area get to start their apprenticeship. Uh, when I knocked on Aurelia Tool's door, I was able to say, listen, I'm in my first year. I, I'm, I'm completely new at it, but I'm in this program. It is government funded and sometimes there's grant. And it seemed to catch Joe's attention that if you get a young person that doesn't have I'm not going to say bad habits, but you can mold them kind of the way that you want them to be, the way, the way that you like things ran and the way that, that your business runs. Well, whenever uh, I had to go doing any errands and uh, deliveries and stuff, he was always the one that wanted to take the bull by the horns and, and uh, to look after customers and, you know, always interested in learning every, every aspect of the job. If you do a good job, decent word of mouth and 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 you know what you can uh, you can succeed if you work hard enough i use his example as when i'm doing a registration with a student uh, and a, an employer we i say that this isn't an employment contract uh, i always say the dream is that you know you start your apprenticeship and you work with that company uh, while you're completing your apprenticeship you become licensed you continue to work with that company and then you uh, eventually buy that company take advantage of the resources stuff like oh yeah because I do feel if you get into a position where you have the opportunity to step up in the company or, or move up, it depends on how hard you work and if you're willing to do the dirty work and, and it doesn't just mean running the cool parts all the time, it's sweeping floors and cleaning machines and just putting your time in. If you show a lot of initiative, people will pick up on that and you will get more uh, responsibilities that will be handed to you. What a truly inspiring story. And this is just one example of how your community can help job seekers get the support and resources they need to find meaningful work. If you or someone you know is seeking employment and could use a little direction, well there are community organizations here to help you find success. Thank you for watching. This program has been brought to you by the Simcoe Muskoka Workforce Development Board, connecting you with resources in your community to help you find employment. For more information on how to find assistance in your community, visit our website.